Welcome to the first devlog. I'm Proxit and this is my top-down survival RPG game. I have worked on this project for around two years now in my spare time. Finally, I got to the point where I had some clear picture or whether I want to take this project. With this, I decided to start making devlogs to build community and hold myself to the project. As I have full-time job, I will try to release one devlog a month compiling what I have been working on and what's coming up next. So let's jump into it. The base idea of the game is that you find yourself on this world without remembering what happened to you. Objective for you is nothing linear. You can travel anywhere in this world to explore or figure out what happened to you. As you might already assume, there is a catch. Survival. You have to watch for inhabitant creatures, eat or cold, food and water, natural weather, etc. Dying in the game is very different from other games, in the sense that it might or might not be permanent, but don't assume you just respawn. Gameplay is pretty simple and I'm always trying to make it smoother and feeling better. Basic movement with VSID, left control to roll, mouse to look around with left click attack and right click for secondary actions like aiming with the bow. Interaction system is something I'm constantly improving. Right now you can pick up objects like branches, stones, etc. Almost everything is being designed to be destroyable or gatherable. Currently I have implemented fresh trees and copper ore as gatherables. You can use logs or sticks to light a campfire or furnace to cook or smelt various items. I will try to expand on this system in upcoming weeks. In a lot of situations you will want to craft various items like medical supplies or tools, weapons and armor to progress further and help you to survive longer. For this there are several ways to get yourself geared up. In the start you will have little knowledge of crafting, but by doing so and researching you can become better at it, to the point where you will need to go scavenge the lands for new or more exotic materials, artifacts. Crafting menu is pretty simple, but for better items you will want to look into campfire, furnace and other buildings that allow you to craft more complex items. Combat system is very wide in terms of weaponry. I have currently made few combat options allowing for closed or ranged combat. The system is quite modular, to the point that I can implement almost any weapon I can think of. One thing I have to finish is a projectile system for the ranged weapons. Hopefully I will have it finished in the next devlog to showcase it too. Enemies or NPCs in the game will be plenty, with a few that I do not want to spoil for you. All of the NPCs are killable, every wolf, animal or monster. Currently I have implemented only a simple NPC setup to test the basics. In the next devlog I will hopefully have more to showcase in this area. Thank you for watching to this point. This will be the end of the first devlog, so I wanna give you a little bit more information about the project. If the second devlog is already out, you might be able to find a link to the game's website under the video. If not, please let me know how you like this video by liking, disliking or commenting down below. If you haven't subscribed and you like this project, you can do so to not miss new devlogs in the future. Thanks again and see you in the next devlog.